Yeah, usually when this Jeep sits a little while, um, it gets hard to start because the fuel evaporates out of the carburetor. And I always keep this little Schumacher trickle charger on. It's a pretty good one. Big 20 bucks, nothing fancy. Everything I get electronic freaking falls apart. This one's not that electronic. But uh, what I'm going to do is take that off of there. <laughs> and uh, what I'm going to do here is uh, pull that plug out of there. There you go. What I'm going to do is I'm going to get in here and uh, I'm going to basically prime it with some HHO first before it started up. And by the way, from what I've read, if um, you're out in a winter environment, KOH is better than just straight lye um, for freezing, you know, KOH. But I heard you can put this stuff in it. Hopefully that's accurate, but uh, that's what they told me. They can, you can put that in it. It doesn't affect your production. Uh, you don't have to worry about it freezing. And uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get in here, turn on a key, and click this puppy on. That's on. So you can see the production's moving. Give it a few minutes and watch this thing should be filling up <laughs> with some serious hygiene let's let uh, keep it too long on let's try it a couple minutes but normally i'd be here like hitting getting out the starting fluid and all this stuff and actually i want to probably set this up on the el camino for this reason i'm thinking every single car out there that still has got has a carburetor doesn't have a computer ought to have one of these things i don't even give a damn if it's a classic car and uh just for this reason you know in the winter time as long as this stuff don't freeze, I heard all you got to do is have some of that in there or the KOH. The KOH is pretty good, gets down there pretty low. But say, for instance, uh, you're having a hard time getting your car started back in zero degree weather. That, this stuff is more volatile than starting fluid. So let's close the hood on this thing, give it a couple minutes and see how it cranks up. Normally, I'd be stealing hitting starting fluid on it, so we'll see. Uh, I gave it about two minutes. This puts out about two minutes, uh, excuse me, one liter a minute. Maybe that's about two liters. Let's see what happens here. Well, that's a lot better. <laughs> that's a hell of a lot better. <laughs> First time I ran this experiment, <laughs> I was like, holy smokes. Ooh, that's a lot better. Anyway, <laughs> definitely gonna I'm definitely gonna put this on the El Camino, man. Definitely. For that reason alone. Even though I don't use it that much. What's going on that puppy? Holy shit. So anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Normally this bitch would not start up that good, man. So, what the hell's my damn choke thing? Here it is. Anyway, so <laughs> what a difference! What a difference! And by the way, this is the only foreign thing I ever bought, Suzuki, and uh, I put all the American parts on it, man, since I got it. Even when I was in Japan, I got the Rancho shocks for it, <laughs> ordered in the USA. I still order freaking USA shit all the time, but um, I'll tell you one thing, you know, this thing, I'm just going to put this as a footnote, this thing is three and a half inches more narrow than a Suzuki Samurai. This is actually an SJ4. 13 it's more narrow it's got more narrow axles and all that kind of stuff i don't really have a top problem i've been riding this thing for like uh i got over 220,000 miles on it <coughs> i've had it for since 87 september um with these tires a little bit bigger but the rancho shocks i put on there or if you put a works performance for suspension on a regular samurai, they're, they don't flip over. They're good to go, man. So, anyway, just want to put that as a side note. 
But damn, man, if you got a carburetor, <laughs> HHO is the way to go, man. That thing starts right up. So we'll put the battery charger on it right now again and uh, make sure it's a fully charged battery. But um, for this little engine, this is uh, 550 cold cranking amps, 1.3 oversized battery. <laughs> I can leave the HHO on two or three minutes and before I start it. Mm, no no problem, man. That ain't, that ain't much of a draw for two or three minutes, but it gives you two or three liters of hydrogen in there. That'll work. I always keep, you know, I, I got a bunch of these little chargers. That's just why I keep the battery topped off on this thing because I don't use these cars much. But uh, I just want to say here's a footnote. Uh, there's one movie actor, the guy Dennis Weaver from The Cloud, if you remember that TV series, he used to... Uh, you know, be the McLeod, you know, the cowboy dude. He was in, he's in California, and he was going to be the, they called him the godfather of, uh, what do you call it, uh, hydrogen propelled cars. And, uh, what he did, <laughs> I'll tell you what, I don't know what happened with that dude, man. You don't hear nothing about it. It was back in 2003, 2004. Just, I think, just out. ooh, look, here's my little cat. Ah! Hey, guy, what are you doing, man? I'm going to start the car up, buddy. Get out of there. <laughs> well, he, now I know where he hides out. Anyway, um, <laughs> I, was, I figured he was under here. Well, that was a little impromptu. <laughs> where the hell did he go? But anyway, McLeod is... Um, <laughs> he was... Uh, He's uh, he was doing the hydrogen stuff, and uh, he's uh, you know you don't hear nothing about it because I think uh, you know even if you're famous big name in Hollywood they'll freaking uh, attack you and shit. So this puppy, I got a lot of room to put the deal in here. I could probably mount the one of the you know one of the units here with the bubbler, have it come in. I don't know. We're probably the top of the carb over here someplace, and down in here. I could mount right to the front of, I'd probably put a 21 plate unit right on the top of the radiator support. There's plenty of room there to bolt it to it. And uh, go to town, man. Go to town. So, and this thing will be a bitch to start because I ain't started it in a while. Watch. But I got starting fluid. But if I had HHO, flip the switch, right? Anyway, so you get to see little Goldie, man. Goldie's hanging out up here. Anyway, I'll check around. I think he took off. But see, here's his food right here. See, he's in eating. He's right. There's the car. <laughs> he comes out from the top of the tire. <laughs> comes around here. He goes there. And uh, so we, you know, that's what we see. That's what we saw the little pictures of Goldie. Anyway, over and out.